सो फार वी हैव कवर्ड सो मैनी डिफरेंट डेटा टाइप्स इन सी सार प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज बट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट द पेरेंट ऑफ ऑल दोज टाइप्स ऑल्सो द पेरेंट ऑफ ऑल द क्लासेज दैट वी हैव इन सी सार प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज द नेम इज ऑब्जेक्ट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द ऑब्जेक्ट टाइप इन सी सार प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज टू डिफाइन अ वेरिएबल ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट टाइप वी कैन यूज द सिमिलर अप्रोच दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी फॉलोड इन previous data types for example if i want to declare a type of object type then first i have to write the name and this is how i can do it what i'm doing over here is this is the type this is the name of the variable and again you can use any meaningful name over here as per your need for example here if i'm having this name this will also work if i'm having this first name that will also work where one whatever you want to write over here make sure that is not a reserved keyword in c sharp programming language rest you can give any meaningful name over here but it must follow all the rules of the variable let's switch back to this obj and this is the equal symbol and here we are putting this null this is how we can declare one object in c sharp programming language but again this object is just an alias behind this there is one system dot object class like this if i right click on this one and choose this go to definition you will see we are having this class and in this class we are having couple of things first is this public constructor then we have this destructor and we are having this equal method reference equal method there are couple of methods that are available over here we will understand these methods as well what is the difference in between this object and system dot object this object is just an alias of this system dot object class so you can use any one of them in the real world programming we always prefer to use this alias object not this one so let's just close it now let's understand what is the main use of this object class as i have already told that this object is the parent of all the classes and all the types so it means inside this object i can assign anything here i am putting this null but over here if i want to put let's say 1 you can see i am having the 1 over here and there is no error at this place just to confirm let's display this value on the console screen so here we can use that string interpolation i can use this dollar symbol and then over here i can write the value of object is here i can use this curly bracket and i can simply use the obj over here right let's run this application quickly at this place you can see the value of object is 1 because we have put 1 over here now if i want to put something else for example the obj is equals to i want to put something boolean value so let's say it is true right let's run it again and this time you will see the value is true it means inside this one single obj i can assign anything if i try to assign the string value for example this nitish kosik which is my name let's run this application and again you can see there is no error but in the previous types for example if i'm having this int abc the name of this variable and i'm putting it one and in the next line if i'm putting something else for example this then you will notice that we are getting an error at the compile time but this is not the case with this object type why this object type is the parent of all the types and not only these types we can also assign the instance of a class as well over here so let's use this here i'm having this new and inside this new object i'm going to create a new property with name first name and let's put a value of nitish over here put a comma and the last name like this so you can see there is no error what i have assigned this this is something that is new and we have not covered this so far in this course this is an anonymous object and we are creating this instance without the help of any other class we are simply using this new keyword and we have simply assigned the properties it means we can store anything in this obj and if i want to run this application this time then you will notice we are getting this first name is equal to this and last name is equals to this but there is a great benefit of this obj what is the benefit the benefit is that the compiler has some information about the value of this object type how can we confirm that for example let's just comment this line and here i want to create one more variable of type string here i'm writing a string let's say name and in this name i want to assign this obj right you can notice at the compile time i'm getting the error the error is cannot implicitly convert type object to the string right it is saying that we cannot assign this object to this name and we are getting all these things at the compile time it means 
compiler has some information about the value of this object how i can do that i can use one method which is two string this one and this two string method will convert the value of this object whatever is there into the string now you can notice that there is no error and if i use the name over here let's update this message as well run this application you can notice we are getting this value and this nidhis koshik is coming from this last one let's comment this line and let's try to see what will happen with this true you can see we are getting the true on the console screen if i comment this true as well what is the latest value of this obj it is one let's run it and you can notice we are getting the one on this output screen this is how we can work with this two string method of this object type there is one more very important method in this object type and it is get type for example if i want to know what is the type of the value that i have assigned in this object i can do that by using the get type method here i'm writing this obj object is let's say this is the object and the type is i want to define the type at this place and i can do that by using this obj dot get type there is only one single method and with the help of this get type we will get the type let's quickly have a look on this get type method let's right click and choose this go to definition here you can see we are having this method and the return type is this type now let's comment this name so what i'm doing now i'm just displaying the value of this object and similarly the type of that value i'm displaying it over here let's run this application let's see what we have on the output screen on the output screen you can see the value of this object is this is the value and the type is anonymous type we have not created this object by using any class i am simply using the new keyword and putting the curly bracket and just writing the property names that is why it is an anonymous type and this anonymous type is also a very great concept in c sharp programming language if someone ask you can you create a new object without any class yes we can do that and this is how we can create the new object let's comment this line and now let's try with this string value so what is the latest value in this object type this time it is this nitish kosik and if i ask you what is the type of this value it is a string because we are putting it inside this double quotes okay let's run this application again this time the value is this nitish kosik and the type is system dot string let's just comment this line also and try with this true and false this true represents the system dot boolean let's run this application this time and see the type is this system dot boolean let's try with this one as well see it is system dot int 32 if i put m over here and run this application again this time you will notice the type is this decimal so this is how we can get the exact type of the value of this object type that is all in this video thank you for watching have a great day